Hi guys, how's it going? It's a bit wet here. See, a bit wet. <laughs> Good thing I wear rubber and leather. <laughs> anyway, okay, reading between the lines. I came across this uh, YouTube thing I was watching this morning. Um, this guy um, runs this uh, YouTube channel called Self Sufficient Me. It's pretty awesome. Um, ex military dude from Aussie Army, good good bloke, practical. <laughs> he was talking about an article that someone wrote saying that you know you should not actually buy or consume free range egg. He's like, what 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 the heck? So he goes through and you know analyzes the article and breaks it down and it's had me thinking about you know things you read, things you see, how you interact with other people and how they interact with you and if they're doing the uh, quote unquote things to say you know this is the case but not really the case like they're trying to influence you by causing you doubt or saying something is untrue when they've got no real evidence to back it up um, you know it's, it's one of the things when I ask people like they say oh they said XYZ I said okay did they say exactly XYZ I go, well, kind of, sort of, like, this is what I got from it. And I'm like, okay, um, you want my advice? You're going to have to tell me word for word what they said <laughs> and, and what you said and how everything went down. I said, oh, well, the, you kind of said something like this. I said, well, no, not kind of, not kind of, because, I mean, if, if I just say something in, in general and completely summarise what someone else says, like a whole conversation, I probably could have taken maybe, say, 10 or 15 minutes into one sentence. Then there's a lot of room there for um, misinformation, misinterpretation, um, all that sort of stuff. So reading between the lines, listening to what people are saying, listening to what people aren't saying, um, looking at the context most specifically. I mean, there's a whole thing about, um, I think in, in the UK, there's Sargon of the Card, People saying, oh, you threatened to rape this person. He goes, no, he didn't threaten to rape anybody. Um, he didn't threaten anything at all. He was um, basically saying, no, I, I wouldn't at all, ever, and you can't make me. Um, and people saying, oh, but, you know, you, you're advocating rape. I said, no, he's not. He's not doing that. <laughs> what, what are you saying? Because they're, they're taking a word and taking it out of context or putting quotation marks around it, trying to emphasize it, manipulate it, um, and to say whatever they want to say so that they can, you know, get all clickbaity. So, even just a simple article about free range eggs when they say, you know, they quote um, people from like RSPCA and CSIRO, it's like, well, okay, so what do you mean? Like, it makes sense that, you know, if um, chooks are out in free range, that, you know, there's a possibility that they could get attacked and no one likes to get attacked. Chooks don't like to get attacked because they're just there doing their scratching thing, doing their laying thing, doing their clucking thing. And yeah, they could get attacked. But it's just like everyone else. Um, and he makes a good point of saying, you know, if, um, you know, some people like to go out, some people don't like to go out. Um, it's the same with chickens, you know. Some chickens like to just wander around. Some chickens don't like to wander around just because... Um, someone, even if they were a vet from RSPCA, said, yeah, oh yeah, there's a danger of, of chicks being out because they could get attacked. They're going to the extreme, saying that, you know, if we leave them free range and, you know, you, you need to ask them what they mean by free range and how they take care of their chooks and protect them because, I mean, it's pretty stupid if they're going to let chooks go out unprotected and being attacked continually by predators. It's not good for their business at all. Um, but, yeah... <laughs> The assumption is that they just let them out and free range with no protection whatsoever. So when you actually get all this information, when you talk to other people, even sometimes your friends, um, particularly if they're having <laughs> problems with relationships and they, they, they sort of say, oh, they, they kind of said this and they said that and I said, what well, they said that exactly. And they said, well, no, not exactly, but they meant this. And I said, well, <laughs> okay, you're saying that you you're saying that they meant this yeah but you're they're still trying to talk with you about what they're meaning yeah so they didn't actually mean that or did you confirm with them say did you mean xyz and if they say well no 
I meant blah, and you go, well, okay, I took it as X, Y, Z, not A, B, C. And they'll go, oh, okay, so that's how you're, you're seeing what I'm saying when I'm not saying that at all. That was not my intention to say that. But people will still um, read too much into it. So there's a difference between reading too much into something and reading between the lines about what people are saying. You've got to know when and where to be able to apply that to. Because sometimes, I mean, there's people that I talk to, and a lot of people talk to me in confidence with things. I can definitely read between the lines about what's going on with them and talk to them up front if they wish. But the things that you see, things that you reveal, particularly about people that you know and care about, it's not always beneficial to reveal it to them and sometimes they don't want that because they're not ready anyway so weighing reading between the lines even a news article as um this gentleman pointed out is uh quite i mean i reposted on my general thing um it's <laughs> it totally misrepresents a lot of things yeah, someone might have actually said that, but they've taken it completely out of context, put their own interpretation in it, and said, they did put it in quotation marks. Um, so that means to me that they summarised what this person has said. They haven't exactly quoted, um, which means that they could get sued if they misquoted somebody. So someone could have said, oh yeah, thank you very much for that chicken, um, and in a joking manner, but they've put that, then they put that in, in a quotation marks, so that's an exact quote. But the rest of it was not in an exact quote. So you've got to wonder at what they're summarising and what they're trying to say. Um, and what, what the whole point of that article was. Like, it's confusing. So is it good or is it bad? Are you making up your mind or are you just putting a whole lot of taff out there? Anyways, Friday, rain, a lot of rain, but... I reckon it'll be um, a pretty good weekend and keep warm guys um, there's a lot of people being sick at the moment flu the whole hot days windy rain cold I'll tell you what I'm feeling the cold <laughs> anyways keep warm keep safe um, and remember to you know occasionally question what people are presenting to you even if they're your loved ones even if they care for you um, just Keep, in, keep that in mind. So, have you ever like looked deeply into what people are presenting you as evidence? Have you analysed word for word, sentence for sentence? Have you applied the pub test to it? The pub test is something like logical. It's kind of like critical thinking. Oh my God, no! So, apply the pub test, and it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Are someone using a specific example to make a generalisation? or they're using a generalisation to justify a specific example. Hmm. Right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.